So I'm here in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and I have got a treat for you guys today. We are going to be touring this beautiful home behind me, $4 million. We're going to show you what $4 million in Fort Mill, South Carolina will get you. Now, here is the thing about this particular house. This is not your standard spec home. No, this home was fully customized with the owners, step by step from architecture all the way through to design, paint choices, appliances, you name it, they picked it. So we're gonna review some of those and you're gonna see why this home is priced the way that it is. Now I'm gonna point out the design choices inside are absolutely stunning. So if you're ready for a house tour that you've never seen before, Come on, let's go take this tour and show you exactly what the layout in Fort Mill will look like when you're looking for a custom designed home. Luxury markets in North and South Carolina have so much to offer. Now, while many of the homes in Charlotte are gonna be potentially older homes that have been renovated, regentrified from what was once original to Charlotte, especially in the Dilworth area, Fort Mill and the farther South has a completely different aspect. In fact, most of the luxury homes you're gonna find down here are going to be new construction within the last few years. And when it comes to custom construction, this is the place to be. Fort Mill has a ton of land available and there's a lot of beautiful developments just like the one we're in right now, as well as just one-off plots of land where customs homes are being built day in and day out. Now, we're gonna take a full tour of this home, but if you're thinking or looking about everything having to do with Charlotte, North Carolina and the surrounding areas, including Fort Mill, South Carolina, you have come to the right channel. So if that's what you're looking for, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my upcoming videos having to do with Charlotte and the surrounding areas. And if you wanna be notified the second a video comes out, go ahead and hit that notification button and you will get a bing every time I post a video. Now, I honestly do get people coming to my channel every day and calling, texting, emailing, inviting me to Zoom meetings to talk to them about their move. All of my contact information is in the description below. Be sure to check it out and reach out to me, whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, if you're moving across the country or just across town. I would love to make your move everything you want it to be. So let's take a look at this house. This home was custom built just two years ago. And as you can, I'm sure, tell just by the short little bit that you've seen so far, this home is anything but ordinary. So we're gonna take a quick tour of this house and I'm gonna show you all the nuances that maybe you wouldn't have picked up with the naked eye and some of the things that they did to this house that makes it not only custom, but specialty to the family that lives here. So let's take a tour. So as I mentioned, the owners had a hand in every decision that was made in this house from the beautiful Viking appliances, which this is a professional grade Viking appliance where you've got the double door, which I love. And then off to the side, why not have a built-in crystal cabinet? Because it works. And they used every inch of square footage when it comes to available storage. Now, some of the things that some people don't notice in a kitchen. Now, we always notice the cabinetry or the appliances or how big it is. That's great. It's the minor details, like the arched doorways or the taller ceilings, or the fact that they capped the side of their countertops to make it appear a little bit thicker than your average countertop. All of these small details were picked out by the owners. Now you might be thinking, I don't wanna be that involved in my custom construction job, and that's totally fine. But this particular owner is also a builder, so they know what they're doing. Now, I also wanna point out this stove. Can we just give a little bit of shock and awe to this right now? If you love to cook, 
this gas stove is exactly what you need. Now, while some people will prefer an oven, a wall oven or something of that nature, this particular unit made by Viking is top of the line. If you are a chef, if you love to cook, this is where you need to be doing your cooking. Yet another aspect that I love about this property. In many cases, you'll have something like a butler's pantry that you'd go into to get drinks or things of that nature. This home was made and built intended for what? Parties, entertainment, gathering. This particular location is one of my favorite spots in the house. Not only can you overlook the beautiful backyard, but it gives a space where people can go and get drinks or do dishes or do anything that they want off to the side, also leaving your island completely open. One of the biggest complaints I get from some of my clients is, I don't want a sink in the middle of my island. This one, while it does have a prep sink, which is right there, most of the time this is gonna stay completely clear, which gives you a nice, fresh, clean look all throughout into the living room. Now we all know the main gathering place in any home is the living room, and this one does not hold back. Look at this room. Not only do you have an over top balcony from the second floor, but you also have plenty of room for whatever size TV you want, and my favorite feature, these custom windows behind me. Now these are completely custom. In fact, they had to be special ordered, cut to the exact size needed. Now there's one thing you might not know about this house, and it has to do with square footage versus under roof square footage. Now under roof square footage is close to 14,000 square feet. However, the home itself is only 10,000 square feet. And you might be asking, well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, guess what? This home has several balconies and covered areas that make the full square footage under roof a lot higher than the actual living square footage. I don't know about you, but I love exterior living areas and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a few of them. Check out this balcony. Now you've probably already noticed this, but from a decor standpoint, the owners have impeccable taste. But I wanna point out some of the nuances a lot of people don't notice are there, but they can tell when it's not there. They just can't put their finger on it. This is what I'm talking about. The woodworking that's been done throughout the home gives that feel of luxury. It makes it really feel like it's popping out. Take a look right above me and all around this room, there's these beautiful framed woodwork on all of the walls. Not only does this fill the space where it doesn't feel cluttered that you have to put things on the walls like paintings, but it gives it a little bit of movement when it comes to the lighting. Because as it hits, you're going to see a little bit of shadow, a little bit of intrigue, and that's what's missing from most of your standard built homes. They don't have these extra pieces, these extra nuances that truly make it feel homey. Now continuing on from what we saw in that main foyer, check this out. We still have that woodwork, but what they did in this room is a stunner. From floor to ceiling, they literally have painted all of the walls black. Now you might think, that's a bold choice, and it was. But is it wrong? I don't think so. In fact, this room has one of the largest windows per square footage, I guess you could say, for the room. So there's so much natural light coming in here that the black walls actually almost glisten when you're in the room, and it truly gives it more of a warm feel. Now granted, most of your dinner parties are going to be in the evening, so it might feel dark, but it won't. Why? Because of the lighting features that were chosen, including some of the other features, such as the mirrors on the opposing wall. All of this, including all the light that's gonna be flooding in from the other room, actually make this a very warm feel and not at all dark. So if you're scared of black, go ahead and give it a shot. I'm telling you, it'll work out. And of course, no house is complete without your very own, what, elevator. Now, no, they don't necessarily need an elevator. I don't think anybody really needs an elevator. It's only a three-story house, actually two stories with a basement. However, if you are thinking for the future, if you have maybe a spouse or a loved one that maybe can't take the stairs anymore, why not add this? That's the beauty of custom home building. You can put what you desire in the home instead of something aftermarket. Because I will tell you, installing an elevator after you already own the home and have built it is a little bit more expensive than when you're still in framing. 
Now we mentioned earlier, I did, about a butler's pantry. Most people are used to a butler's pantry. It's usually that area in between your dining room and your kitchen where you can go ahead and, well, that's where the butler would use. Now, granted, nobody has butlers anymore, and these features are in pretty much any home that you're gonna find in construction these days. However, many custom homes, especially in the multi-million dollars, have upgraded to something even better, a scullery. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world is a scullery? This is a scullery. This is a room which is usually offset from the kitchen where you can have all of your appliances out on the countertop, you can do any prep work that you desire, and it usually has multiple refrigerators for beverages or storing of food, etc. Now, this seconds as a pantry and many people use it as such. So if you take a look, you've got everything you need and it all matches the kitchen. You notice that? All of the cabinets match, all of the countertops match, so it's a nice, even flow. Now, this particular room can be completely closed off from the rest of the house if you don't want to look at it. Let's say you're a little bit messier, but this particular owner does keep their home absolutely pristine. So this is where they do all their prep work and they do all their hangout in the kitchen. So of course, a laundry room is a laundry room is a laundry room. Not when you're in a property like this. This is actually the size of not even a standard bedroom, a semi-standard bedroom. You could fit an entire king-size bed in this room, and yet, this is where the laundry is. In addition, one of my favorite parts is this counter right here, where you can actually lay out everything and get it folded. Now, if you're like me, you don't have a dirty laundry problem, you have a clean laundry problem. This laundry room fixes that with ample space to go ahead and put it away and get everything prepped and organized and plenty of space for storage, you will actually maybe enjoy doing laundry or someone who helps you will. So the first bedroom in this property is absolutely, of course, gorgeous. If you have a guest that's coming to stay the night, they are going to feel right at home with their own private bath in their own area of the house. So take a look. That this bed looks a little bit small, especially given the size of the room. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not. It's an optical illusion. This bed is a king-size bed, but because of the design and the nature of this room, it makes it look a little bit smaller. Now, this particular space is the master bedroom, and one of its key features is the tall vaulted ceiling above us. Now, the design did not go with a white ceiling, however, they decided to go with a much darker color to make it feel deeper and larger. Now, one thing I will point out, and this particular designer, who just so happens to be the owner, also went with this beautiful wallpaper throughout the home. Wallpaper may have been out back in the day, but it has come back with a vengeance. And guess what? It is one of the best design choices you could possibly do, especially for a room like this. Now, another aspect of this home, or especially this room, should I say, is the fact that it was designed you don't need to put bureaus or chest of drawers in here for storage of clothing. In fact, it's all in the master closet, which we're gonna check out right now. So as you can expect, the primary bedroom has its own laundry. That's right, no need to trudge it all over the house to go do your laundry. In fact, you just have to keep everything in your closet. Now this is one of two closets in the primary bedroom, just off of the bathroom, and it feels like your own wing of the house because it is. I absolutely love this primary suite and I would highly recommend it if you're planning on designing your own home. So the master bathroom, you guessed it, absolutely magnificent. Would you expect any less given this home? From the beautiful dual showers with centered tub to the dual vanities, which I will say is one of my favorite aspects. Not only is it large and long, but it still feels quaint enough that it doesn't feel overly large. One other thing that I will point out is the wallpaper choice. Now, you might be thinking, there's a lot of wallpaper here, but it works, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The way that these selections were made, it works in every single room that it's been found in. Now, this wallpaper is specific to a bathroom, so don't worry about it peeling. In fact, it has a little bit more of a, I'm gonna call it a slick finish to it, with a little bit of nuance where there's got a little texture. This is gonna make sure that the light, when it hits it, is gonna have a specific effect but it's also gonna make sure that any kind of steam or moisture that touches it is not going to affect it. I told you, they thought of everything. So in addition to that, they also have this beautiful vaulted ceiling with a chandelier. When was the last time you shot a chandelier in a bathroom? This one. Need a really great spot for your kids to hang out? This is the room for it. 
Now this has, of course, the tall ceilings, but there's plenty of space, not only for movie nights, but you could probably fit a foosball table in there if you really wanted to. This is a secondary bathroom. All of the bathrooms in this home are unique to themselves and have a little bit of the, I'm gonna say, stylings of the person who's in that room. So this particular one is a little bit more masculine and definitely has the detail work that you would find somewhere maybe in Maui. Now, speaking of laundry, if you're gonna have a main laundry outside of the primary bedroom, this is the one you want. Now, you might think, okay, well, it's a standard laundry room, but wait, there's more. There's additional space all back here where you can store additional items for everything you need to clean your home. Now, this will also second as a linen closet if you really wanted it to. One of the spare bedrooms, this one is my absolute favorite. And the feature that I love most about it, this right here. This area is an elevated seating area. You can put just about anything you want there, but I really feel like it pulls the light in and elevates it. Get it? But connected to this bedroom is one of my favorite bathrooms in the house. Beautiful soaking tub, gorgeous standing shower, and it just has a very clean feel. Now, in addition to that, this also has a beautiful walk-in closet that you could probably actually put a bench seat in the middle if you really wanted to. Check this out. You have your own home gym in this house. Now, the great thing about this home gym, it also leads directly out onto the pool deck so you can go for a dip after you've sweated it out. Just behind the camera right there is actually a door that leads out to the pool deck. The great aspect about this particular bathroom, it has storage for different towels and anything you'd need for outside, but if people are wet and they need to use the restroom, they can come on inside without trudging through any of your gorgeous hardwoods. So the most happening room in the house is down in the basement. This room has been completely outfitted for entertainment, so no one actually has to come into the main areas of the home. These double doors over here are double slides that lead out onto the pool deck where there's an outdoor kitchen. But on the inside, we have everything you could possibly want from a sporting aspect. Now, what I love about this, as in every other part of the house, the details. Not only the molding, but also the ceilings and light fixtures. And in case you didn't notice, the millwork on the walls, which frame in everything and make it feel more luxury. Now, one other aspect I do wanna point out the floors. These are actually stained concrete. How cool is that? So as we walk towards these back doors, you're going to notice that it wraps all the way around to this beautiful downstairs kitchen. Now this bar top, if you sit at the bar, it actually even has a bar rail to rest your feet on. It's the details that matter. This particular space has a full refrigerator, ice maker, microwave, literally anything that you could possibly want and a sink. Now, one thing I do love about this property, because of course we're talking about details here, they even thought about putting in a dishwasher. No, you're not gonna have to come collect your glasses and bring them upstairs. Details matter. Now, one other aspect to this particular space that I love is the fact that the countertop has sunk in just a little bit and what you can't see are these awesome outlets right behind here. If you're entertaining and you've got food or things that need to stay warm, perhaps in that crock pot that you brought over, everything can be put right here and you don't have wires showing anywhere or maybe your margarita mixer. Now the owners could have just made this your everyday ordinary basement with a bar. How boring. But again, the detail work. If you take a look at these two openings here, not only are there sconces on the walls and again, we're talking about more of a sports area, a hangout area, but yet it makes the difference. An additional detail that I love that follows throughout the home is the archways. Archways warm a space and definitely makes you feel like you want to actually enter. For this particular space, they made sure that they had a proper sized billiard room. And if for those poker players, you can fit your perfect size poker table or chess over in the corner. Come on out to this pool deck. It is absolutely gorgeous.
Well, we know that this house has it all, but so does the yard. Fire pit, hot tub, beautiful pool with a waterfall feature, and of course, your outdoor kitchen and dining area. Now, this isn't just it. They're not just hardscape. There's also plenty of trees and grassy areas, so you can go throw around the baseball or chip a little bit on the green. This house is absolutely magnificent. If you're considering possibly either doing a custom build or purchasing and finding a house that maybe is already under construction or in design, be sure to give me a call. I don't just work in Fort Mill. I work everywhere in the Charlotte region and I can help you find the right builder or the right house. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, whether you're moving across the country, across the world, or just across town, be sure to go ahead and give me a text, an email, shoot me a Zoom invite. All of my contact information is in the description below and I truly would love to hear from you. So until next time, I look forward to showing you around town.